The really great thing about field labs is that it's farmers deciding what they want to research, having the technical support to enable them to do it, and innovative farmers have given us a fantastic framework in the field lab for doing that. Traditionally, when we plant black currants, we use a black plastic film under the bushes that suppresses the weeds. And we're having to spend a lot of time picking up bits of plastic as it begins to break down. And these are going to be the microplastics of the future, because if it's in the soil, it's going to end up in the river. If it ends up in the river, it's going to end up in the sea. We're looking at alternatives to fossil fuel derived plastic mulch. We're looking at other films that are biodegradable that will break down. But we're also looking at other alternatives like wood chip and grass clippings. So this is the trial. Growers set up different plots of their crop with the different mulch treatments, but each treatment is repeated four times. So this is what we call replicated trials. And then if something goes wrong in one of the plots, we can still identify trends. Every week I've been measuring the percentage of weeds in each plot and the height of the bushes and then we've just started to count the number of dead bushes and the number of dwarf bushes in each plot. 13 dead. Farmer-led research speeds up innovation without question because it's immediate. So you can see something and immediately respond to that. It's really important for us as researchers to work with farmers. They know their farms intimately, they know their crops, so that we can come up with real solutions that are likely to be adopted rather than things that are kind of a bit more far off and academic. I hope Woodchip to be the most successful because we'd very much like to end up in a situation where we are using entirely biodegradable mulches.